Alright, let me turn the fan off. We got to do that. Alright, uh, so, quick update on the Gazis. I moved the other female downstairs because she was getting really pissed off at her, so then kept attacking her. Let me see if they're going to, I think they're about to flare. Um, so she's downstairs with the male Pistogramma Kakatoidi. Uh, the male can't tell the difference, but the female apparently can. Uh, maybe the crossbreed, I don't really know, nor really care. That, I personally think that'd look really cool. A lot of people, if you want to hate, don't hate. I mean, a lot of fish lovers out there are going to be like, don't crossbreed them, you're going to ruin it, blah, 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 I don't really care. Alright, uh, so they're doing really well. My male was a little torn up, but he fixed, he got fixed up. Uh, just cleaned the sponge filter yesterday, already really dirty. That just proves how good and quite annoying it is. So, definitely, she has definitely picked that pot for the breeding spot. And, uh, so that's it. Uh, today, they were supposed to come in, like, a few days ago, actually. I got kind of pissed off at the dude for a second. Uh, well, anyway... My cordon breather bags came in. Uh, these are a new technology in the fish world for transporting fish, apparently. They, if you can see that, it allows oxygen to come in and CO, CO2, which is carbon dioxide, to come out as fast, or four times as fast. So, the fish, you don't need any air in it. The fish are... Uh, proven to be a lot more relaxed and more less or less stressed than regular traditional uh, plastic bags where you have to have a lot of air basically no water and they swoosh around and everything and since there's no uh, you don't put any air in here the water will just stay still you could like play catch with it basically not a very good idea but you know you could practically play catch with it still work so I got about 25 of them. I was a bit pissed off because I thought they were going to come in a box because I thought they were going to be a lot bigger. I don't know why, but they came in this little package in the mailbox and I was like, oh, crap it. I was in there. Uh, so, another goldfish, kind of stupid. So I just tried to, there are two ways of using it. You can use a heat sealer to fill it up with water, get on the side, just seal this right there. Uh, forgot what his or her name was, but she wrote about it in Tropical Fish Magazine article. Uh, she, or he, I'm not quite sure, I think it was a she. Uh, she uses a uh, heat sealer. I don't have one, or I might, but I don't know where it is. Uh, so I just filled it up with water just to test it out. Regular tap water. Mine is really bad for the fish that I keep. I like to keep soft, acidic water my... My tap water is hard and alkaline, so I have to use a lot of stuff. So anyway, you just fill it up water. Make sure there's practically no air whatsoever. Put the fish in it, or put the fish in it before. And then uh, you just tie it right here. Clamp it. You can clamp it. You can tie it. You can, put, you can twist it and put a rubber band on it. Whatever you want. It looks nicer when it's heat sealed because then it's kind of like flat and a little bit up. But the traditional way, just going like that, works fine. It looks more, well, I guess traditional. Uh, and it doesn't stress them out any less or more. So, these. I'm going on a trip to Seattle. And as you most of you probably know, you're not allowed to bring more than 100 milliliters of water. The cool thing is, these things only use 90 milliliters of water. So, I'm basically just under the limit. Uh, the, the fish will work. Uh, once these guys start breeding, which is pretty soon, they might actually breed while I'm gone. I'm hoping so. I put a little bit of stuff, uh, discus buffer, which is that, into the automatic feeder, just a bit. So, because right now it's at 6.0 or 6.1 or something like that. And so every day, every 12 hours... They get more, it uh, acidifies the water a little bit more and feeds them at the same time. Great system. Uh, by the time I get back, it'll probably be like 5.8 or something. Uh, 
I just watched a video on doing a Java Moss carpet. Uh, if you have an uh, account on Fish Tank TV or Fish Tank or Fish Tank TV dot com or Fish Tank D uh, TV dot Ming dot com, uh, you can find look for my profile, uh, and it'll it'll work. Uh, I have a few people, my friends, because I just got on, but. Uh, I think one of them has the Java Moss carpet thing. I'm not going to try it out because by the when I get back, I'm trying out Dwarf Sagarita or something like that. And I was going to try uh, one of the species of Dwarf hair grass, but I uh, couldn't really find that very often except for eBay. So I'm going to try some Dwarf Sag. Apparently it grows a lot faster, much easier, and looks cooler. I've seen it. It looks pretty cool. It's kind of like... Um, what? Hmm. Kind of like tiny little sword plants, or maybe a weirder micro sword if you've seen it. Uh, so once these guys start breeding, I'm gonna be shipping, uh, shipping out and lo selling locally to people, I guess. Uh, so it's like three months. Uh, so they'll probably be breeding at the end of the month, and because she's been in breeding colors when I bought her, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be. So in like a month or two, you guys can email me, ask me if you want, ask if you uh, want some. I'll probably I'll send them out over using these guy either these bags. If they don't, if it doesn't work, please. Just send me a, a reply. Send me a, like a uh, request for new ones, and with a picture of the dead fish in the bag. Uh, don't want to get scammed or anything. Uh, these go on. If you want these, do not go to Cordon's website. Uh, like it's right there, Cordon.com. Do not buy it from those guys. It is ridiculously overpriced. These bags, t I got 25. So 25 probably would have been like, what? Maybe a hundred something bucks. Each one is like seven dollars. So no, wait, that's not even a hundred dollars. It's like three hundred forty something. I don't really want to do the math right now, but it's gonna. It would have been really high. So just go to eBay, uh, real quick if you want some of these. They sh they should work really well. So eBay has twenty f twenty five packs for smalls at fifteen dollars. Uh. And like ten medium for twenty dollars, maybe ten. I don't really care right now. I'm just kind of psyched that they came in. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to Seattle see my brother. I may have already mentioned that in previous video videos, but I don't really care to say it again. Uh, so the I was worried about how I'm gonna bring fish back because I'm definitely gonna get some fish if I see any cool ones. Like, the Agassiz were rare, I didn't expect to find those, and especially not females, but ooh, I found them anyway. So, yeah, uh, these, great, apparently, I mean, can't wait to test them out, and they work in secur uh, security airports, I'm pretty sure, uh, because I just have to call Southwest or something, because these guys only use 90 milliliters, they're technically a pet, but I don't really think they charge you for that. I could put it put it in my carry on, or I could put them in my uh, check in bag, put with a lot of padding. That would probably work. I should probably do that instead of putting my carry on. If you have any denies about that, just comment. Uh, so yeah, I got a lot of these. They look pretty cool, and they feel they feel really weird kind of like a spacey fabric maybe like a filter filter foam filter stuff uh but apparently they're supposed to be so thin and so scientifically designed that they can let uh oxygen CO2 through so that should be great and they just feel really weird it's not like bad weird but just weird they, you could actually just like, let me, I want to rub this against my face for a sec. Yeah, it's just really weird. Not traditional plastic whatsoever. So, 
these should also work for shrimp, uh, like brine shrimp, or like, like uh, micro worms. I don't think you should do that, though. Uh, pretty much any aquatic animal that doesn't need air. Now, one thing that I read is that if you're shipping betas or goramis or uh, paradise fish or something like that, giant goramis, I don't think they make... No, they do make things that big. Oh, uh, well, anyway, so if you're shipping an air, uh, an air breather with the, uh, labyrinth organ, I think it's labyrinth, or labyrinth, or something like that, you want to make sure that you still have a little bit of air, because then they'll be more relaxed and be like, okay, I still have got air in here, I'll be okay. Uh, so yeah, just make sure you have at least, so if, like, you tie it down to here, or, like, right there. Uh, you have at least a little bit of air on the top, so they can still breathe air if they feel like they need to, and they'll still have oxygen in it if they breathe it out. <clears throat> so, yeah, a little update on that. Uh, let's see. Female downstairs doing well. The male keeps, like, trying to breed with her, apparently, or something like that. Gotta do a water change in, like, 15 minutes, something. Uh, so, yeah. If you have any questions about this or where to get it, just comment or send me a uh, send me a personal message. Uh, subscribe if you like it, or subscribe if you don't. Just subscribe. Nutella uh, is doing good. Java moss. I think I'm gonna. I might try the Java moss carpet in this tank. Probably not. Uh, duckweeds doing okay. It hasn't multiplied that. I said it multiplies really fast. I've read it multiplies really fast. Hasn't multiplied very fast whatsoever. Let me just see if I can get a top video. Alright. Uh, I'm running out of time. I've only got three minutes left, so YouTube's gonna get pissed. So, male's looking nice. You get close up on him. That. A Pistragamagazi. Great fish. Not for beginners whatsoever. At least intermediate experience, but I'm still amazingly, amazingly, I said amazingly twice, but I don't really care, that's how awesome these fish are, um, the females, they don't really sell females, but the females in breeding colors still look amazing, they are still community fish, you, uh, if, like, if you want a really nice look, you just get a few of these guys, maybe a male or two, if you have a big tank, like, 40 gallons over, you can get two males, uh, they still look amazing. Uh, let's see. Some more info. Let's see. Uh, seriously, Fish has some nice info on these guys and a lot of other fish. I like them. So, uh, they do well in communities. They need really low pH. Uh, they can go up to 7, but that's pushing it. Um, community Fish, unless you're breeding them, then they get really pissed and try to kill everybody on that. Uh, like... They will literally take the other half. Like, imagine this is a 29-gallon tank split right down the middle, probably, or maybe even a little, like, four-thirds. Wait, that didn't make any sense. The four-thirds would be one and one-third. My bad. Uh, three-fourths <laughs> uh, of the tank, and they just take that over. Yeah. If you're breeding them in a small tank, like, seven gallons, five gallons, probably shouldn't do that, or ten gallons, then you want, yeah... You want a lot of hiding spots for after the male breeds and when the female's looking for a cave. Because, like, I have this giant ball of drama mouse and a little cave behind it. So when she lays her eggs, she's going to really she's gonna get really pissed off at the male for being anywhere near... Ooh, the nice flash. Uh, anywhere near her eggs. She's just going to take them as another person who could eat them. Although we probably shouldn't, or probably won't. We might, though. So he's, she's just gonna get uh, really defensive, kick him out, possibly kill him if he doesn't have any hiding spots. But when they lay the eggs, I'm gonna be gone probably, and they, he's just gonna hide in the Java moss. I mean, I've seen them sleep in there. Uh, they look pretty cool when they're in there. All right, I have a few seconds left. Literally only like ten seconds. So little. Summary, cordon breather bags, great thing, buy them if you ship fish or if you're going on vacation and you need to bring fish home. Oh, Christogamas, or Pistogamas in general, amazing fish too. Bye-bye.